Welcome back to Sheetwise. Today we have an exciting topic that will take your Excel skills to the next level. We are deep diving into conditional formatting. Let's go. First, let's cover the basics. We'll start with a simple example to understand how conditional formatting works. Imagine we have this list of sales figures and we want to highlight all the sales where the sales are above $500. Select the range of sales you want to format. Just click in it, control shift arrow down to mark all cells. Go to the home ribbon, conditional formatting, highlight sales rules greater than. And now you can just type in 500 and you see it in the preview. Click OK and voila, all the cells with values greater than 500 are now highlighted. Now that we have got the basics down, let's explore color scales. This feature allows us to visualize data distribution using a gradient of colors, perfect for spotting trends and patterns. Select the range of cells, go to conditional formatting and to color scales. You see different options to color your cells. I think we choose this and you see the high values are dark green and the low values are dark red. And you see on the first glimpse uh, which colleague does his uh, job very good and which colleague uh, needs <laughs> a review. Next up, let's talk about data bars. These are like mini bar charts within your cells and are incredibly useful for a quick visual comparison. Select the range, go on conditional formatting and then data bars. Here you can see it. Um, greenish. This is good. And instantly you see who performs best. Icons are another fantastic tool in conditional formatting. They allow you to use different icons to represent values. Let's see how they work. You click on conditional formatting, icon sets. And you see you can choose one of the icons. Yeah and maybe it fits for you, but I click on more rules and say, oh, I want only a green icon when the value is higher than 80% and I want a red icon when it's below 50%, okay? And so you can choose your own icons for your values. I think the other highlight sales rules greater than, less than, between, equal to are self-explaining, but let's take a look at the text findings. So if you want to highlight something like um, Pakistan in this case, or USA, or India, you see, you can uh, mark texts. Another option is very useful if you work with a lot of data. So conditional formatting can help you find um, duplicate values. What does this mean? You can mark something like the name column and click on highlight cell rules, duplicate values. Okay, and you see, oh, Mr. Rice or Mrs. Santos are two times in the list. So you can find mistakes in your data. If you have a lot of employees, maybe you want to give a bonus to the top five or top 10%. So you just select the sales, go on conditional formatting, and there are complete option sets of top and bottom rules. So top 10 items, okay, and um, make it smaller, you see the top 10 values are now in red. Or you want to go to the top 10%, the bottom 10 items, or you want to have a talk with the bottom 10%. A lot of options. But what if the built-in rules don't quite fit what you need? 
No, no problem. You can create custom rules to tailor conditional formatting to your specific requirements. Select your data range, go to the conditional formatting and new rule. Use a formula and then we type C2. This is the first value. Um, above average and then we select the whole area again and close the bracket and this formula checks if the value in this specific cell and this specific cell and this specific cell and so on is above the average of all the sales yeah we choose a format greenish okay and you see we have a few above average values for better understanding I will show you two further examples for the formulas we select the sales and want to compare them with the sales goal so I will show you new rule, formula, and then these uh, bigger than sales goal, format, orange, okay, and you will see it won't work. Why it won't work? It's an absolute reference and an absolute reference. So it's completely correct, this absolute um, reference, but here it will make uh, it useless. I click OK. Do you see? Nothing changed. But I will show you how to repair it. We um, select the data, go on conditional formatting, manage rules, and here is the formula. Yeah, new rule, edit rule, delete rule, duplicate rule, but we go on edit rule and take a look. So this absolute reference we already said it's good, but this is not good because the logic won't copy the format um, below F2. So we have to delete this dollar symbol and then click OK. OK. And you see now it works. But now we want to make it even clearer who has more than 100,000 sales. We want to highlight the complete row. We go in conditional formatting, new rule, use formula, equal, that is bigger than the goal. And then we delete the dollar sign. What does it do? Now it checks always the column F versus the goal and the format is for the whole row. So we choose a format, say it's green okay, and OK. And yeah, you see, now it's very, very good to see who's above 100,000. So we are nearly at the end, but I have something special for you. You see, maybe you have uh, some sales on monthly basis and there is a very nice option. You select these cells, go not on conditional formatting, you go on insert and there are spark lines. Yeah. You see spark lines, lines, columns, win and loss. I personally love the columns. Click on this. And OK. And here. Now you see the performance of the sales crew on a monthly basis. It's very visual and easy to read. And there you have it. We covered the basics of conditional formatting. If you liked it or if you hated it, just leave a comment, let me know and I see you next time. Thank you.